Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are in Northern Light Zoo, my sandbox build, originally for the Europe DLC pack, but we're going to add in some of the wetlands animals as well uh, here in Planet Zoo. So today we are going to fill out this space in here with a mixed species Japanese macaque and red crowned crane habitat. Super excited for this. I actually have no idea what it's going to look like other than it's going to be right here. So let's get in here and first define the edge of the habitat and then we will go from there. And this is going to end up being absolutely huge, I can already tell. Oh, we're going to come right like this. into here and it's sandbox so the barriers don't have to be really precise or anything let's get it to behave with the terrain there we go I guess we will put the keeper gate right here That'll work, so that's quite large. And let's see, what sort of barriers do we want? Turn our blueprints off, and I'm going to go for that dry stone wall set. Actually, I think I'm just going to filter this for the East Asia set and go from there. Yeah, that works. we have? I want a non-gridded piece. I know we have some. There we go. All the props. Uh, let's try this. This piece should be flexi color. And it is. Uh, something like that. Okay, so I like that. Let's make this into a group. Get this to line up just right. I think that'll work. 
Duplicate. Ugh, oh, it's off the axis. Why? There we go. A little bit of Z fighting there. Stop. Yeah, this will work. This will work. I'm just gonna go with it. So we just want to work in the group, I think, at this point. Stop doing that. Yeah, this will work better. There we are. Let's see, just want that bit. Okay, so we have a nice wall there, but I think it's going to be a little bit too high to come around this side. I'm going to switch to... a lower version here. Yeah, that'll work very nicely. Let's see, let's break this up with some rocks here now. Mostly because I'm just getting tired of placing that one piece over and over again. But that works. Oh, I should turn on random rotation all. Yes. 
This is a wonderful addition. So if you hadn't noticed, there is a new option here in the settings. Random rotation all. It rotates the objects on all axis. Fantastic! I'm so happy! That's just perfect. I mean, look at this. Truly randomized rocks. Love it. Absolutely love it. So we're just going to finish in this side with these nice big rocks. Actually going to get rid of these. And we're going to take our terrain and our new flat to terrace brush. And I'm going to make some terraces here. Why did it do that? That's not what I wanted it to do. Not at all. Okay, so this new brush is going to take a little bit of getting used to. That's what I want. Uh, come on. Come on, why aren't you working? Let's see. Will it work now? Yes! Ah, it worked! Mm. Uh, that makes me happy. So this is the way you create really shallow pools. And the way I've found to do it is you take your flatten foundation brush first, flatten out the area where you want your pool. So like I want another kind of a big one right here. Smooth everything in between, make it really nice. Then take the flat to terrace brush. I have shallow pool offset turned on. Make my brush smaller. Okay, no. No, no. Too much. Why? Terrace height. There. <laughs> that's, that's what I want. It's just a little, little pool, little shallow pool. And then it should, if it's done everything right. There. Now we have another shallow pool. And I'm going to smooth this again. I'm going to flatten the foundation. Use the flattened terrace. Smooth out any weirdness. And hopefully, no. Why not? Aww. 
Oh, why not? Why aren't you working? Okay, let's try another one down here. Let's see if we can just... Okay, I mean, it does weird things. This, this new brush does very, very weird things. Sure, that, that works. I actually do want a pretty deep pool right here. Because I want to keep the cranes and the monkeys in. Let's see, that works well, but I want to smooth this even further, if I can. I want to make sure they can actually access it. There we are. And then I want to try to get one more pool in here. Let's see if this will work. Let's flatten out an area, grab the flattened terrace, and go... Okay. That's really deep. That's a lot deeper than I was expecting. Okay, that's fine, I'll just go with it. That worked perfectly, actually. Alright, so there is the bulk of the habitat. Now, I just want to make sure... I just want to build out with the rocks in here. This new randomization option is just fantastic. Random rotation was great. This is even better. I'm gonna take away that rock because I'm pretty sure their critters will get stuck on that. Love it, love it, love it. Cover up. Oh, that's going to be too big. I'll cover up this jagged edge here, but not with that. Maybe with this one. And let's turn random rotation on, just the one axis. Love that we have the option for both now, it's just perfect. Okay. 
Now that looks nice. Let's get our critters in here. Let's see, how many can we have? Three hundred meters, so it's way bigger than three hundred meters. Up to eighty. Holy crap, we could have eighty of these. Nice. Seventy-nine males, seventy-nine females. Cool. Let's get all of these. I think we should have at least 12. Oh no, path. Yeah, it would help if I connected the path. Let's do that. All right, there we go. And let's get some McGex. And how many of these can we have? Up to 50. 17 males, 33 females. Okay. We've got all of our animals on the way now. Let's get rid of this floating tree. Delete that one as well. It's going to take them a while to get up here. Doesn't work as well for plants. Oh, here we are. Are they stuck in this little space because of the support? Nope, there they go. Oh, they are lovely. Oh, God, they make the crane sound. Oh, I love that sound. Love it so much. I love hearing it when I'm out camping. We have uh, sandhill cranes here in Northern California, and they make that same wonderful sound. I oh, I love it. I'm gonna get old 
real, real fast, but... Alright, lots and lots of cattails. They're like, oh, waiting. Nice. Aww. Look at you guys. And this guy hanging out in the cattails. Aww. I'm so happy that we have these in game. These are wonderful. Oh, look at that. You see all the way through its nostrils when it turns its head? Yes, you can. Wow, that's that's weird. Hey, they can walk through the cattails. That's good. Did Frontier change the hitboxes on some of these plants? Oh, this is so different from what I usually build. I love it. We're going to have to get some climbing in here for the monkeys. Let's see, is this even, like, close to keeping them in? Uh, mostly. You know, actually, it could be worse. I can fix that pretty quickly. Get our terrain paint fixed up here. When in doubt, sink trees into the ground to make bushes. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, this might be the, my favorite thing I've ever built. I think I have a new favorite animal in game. This is awesome. Oh, I love them. Oh, they're in the upper pool. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna get a screenshot of you. Ooh, let's get the mist going. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, I like that even more. And they're all hanging out down here in this pool, of course. Let's see, what else can we add? A lot of people have been saying this, the crane sounds are annoying, but I, oh, I love it. I love hearing it. I could probably go to sleep to this sound. Hey, we finally have our macaques. Right. Alrighty, you guys. They can get out in a couple of places, but I have escapes disabled, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, let's get them some climbing. Put a couple of these in here and there. Alright, there they are. Let's see, what else do I want to do here? Do I want to do anything else? This came together so quickly. Hmm, I think... When in doubt, add more plants. Where is that periwinkle? There it is. I think we could use some of this. Add that in a couple of places.
Whoops. Did not mean to do that. There we go. Ooh, I like that. I think we need more cattails. Down here. Turn angle snapping off. Alright, so we are just about done here with the Japanese macaque habitat and red crown crane habitat. I, I love how it looks. I think we have all the animals in right now. Let's go around and take a couple of screenshots. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, that's just perfect. There's the thumbnail right there. So this was completely freehand, not looking at any reference at all, uh, just going in and seeing what happened, and this was the result, and I absolutely love it. I think I'm going to put off here like some sort of little like cafe place where you can sit and have a bite and have a drink and listen to that wonderful crane sound. <laughs> It's just so relaxing. This would be just the perfect spot to just come and sit and relax and enjoy the view. Also from up here, this is a pretty good view too. This is a very good view from up here. I want to see them get all the way up to the top here. Oh, our macaques are making their way up here. Mm, enrichment. We need enrichment for these guys. Let's not forget that. Crane. Oh, forge pool. Okay, if I put this in here, will it completely destroy my terrain? No, actually. Okay, cool. That didn't didn't mess up the terrain. <laughs> and it's nice and hidden. Yeah, I like that. In that case, let's put another one in there. And we'll put one in here. Do do enrichment items no longer mess up the uh terrain so much? Ah, uh, they do a little bit. Not like they did, though. Not nearly as extreme. Which is good. Okay, we'll give them a couple. Ah. Little herb scent markers. Oh, the monkeys like that too. Perfect. So, let's go into here. Let's grab our faux rocks, and I just want to hide this forge pool item as much as possible.
I'm being really quiet today in this video. It's just because I'm listening to the cranes. I just, I just love their sounds. Oh, hopefully there's some sandhill cranes around when I can get up to the mountains and go camping again this summer. Oh, there they are, blue lotus. Again, just want to hide the enrichment pool completely. Doesn't take too much to hide it. There we go. And let's get some lotus in here too. Just because it's pretty. <laughs> All right. Oh, that is the red crowned crane and Japanese macaque habitat. Um, man, this one was so much fun. Uh, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, please leave it a like, comment down below, let me know what you think. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Uh, subscribe if you'd like to see more. Hit that bell notification if you'd like to be notified whenever I post a new video. I am trying to do daily content at the moment, and so far it's working out pretty well. Uh, and yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. See ya!